We're staying on top of developments out of Lando Lakes and this giant sinkhole. These neighbors depend on well water. That's why Pasco County is testing for contamination. We told you yesterday they did not find E. coli in the system, but today 10 News reporter Shannon Valladolid learned they found something else. Some of these wells are 10 to 20 years old. Some of them have never been cleaned before. Pasco County says that's the reason the water tested positive for a coliform bacteria. Now, I don't want to freak you out. It doesn't cause any illnesses, but it is a good indicator of pathogens in the drinking water. I spoke to a homeowner here in the area who says they maintain their well water very well, but they're still not taking the chance of drinking it. Well, right now we're drinking bottled water because we're not real sure what the results and what they mean and whether or not they're going to test them again. So we're just going to drink bottled water and boil our water. Laura and Michael Holligal have been living on this street for almost 20 years. Water quality has never been an issue for them until now, but they do know the importance of maintaining their well water. In this neighborhood, it should be done. I mean, I've been there 19 years. And then I just said, you know, I'm just going to go deeper and get a new well. Many living nearby worried the contaminants in this sinkhole damaged the well water since three septic tanks are underneath. But no E. coli was found in the water. What did come back in 17 of the samples was a something referred to as total coliform. Total coliform is natural in older wells because people don't typically clean their wells out. Pasco County official Kevin Guthrie says test results have confirmed this sinkhole has caused no damage to the well water or aquifer. We have sand and dirt and things like that falling into the Florida aquifer at all times. It'd be nothing different in my opinion, again my opinion, is if we took dirt and sand and put it in this lake. What is it going to do? It's going to go to the bottom and it's going to become a part of the base of the lake, but it's not going to do any harm to the, to the aquifer. Pasco County officials say they're going to continue testing the water, but as of right now, they recommend to drink bottled water. If the test results do come back positive for coliform bacteria, then that's when they're going to inform residents in the area to bleach out their water wells. In Lando Lake, Shannon by the lead, 10 News. And you heard him say most people don't typically clean their wells. If you have a well, here's how to do it. You want to either scrub or hose off the interior walls, and then you get a pump to remove anything in the water that should not be there.